Okay, I want to share something very intimate and very personal with you because we're all friends. Oftentimes, I go through the motion and just fake it. Okay, not oftentimes, all the time. And of course, I'm talking about when it comes to wine. I know what I like and what I don't like, and I can tell the difference between red and white, and that's about it. But whenever a server brings me a glass of wine, I fake it and go through the motions and swirl that glass and smell it and pretend I know what I'm doing. But I've come here to the Napa restaurant in the Peabody Hotel. It's a beautiful restaurant with a California theme to it to meet with Nate. Nate is a wine expert and he's gonna teach some of the basic wine tasting 101 things. Thank you for, for helping me. Of course, of course. Okay. Um, I like to go over the, uh, what I call the four S's. Um, we go with sight, swirl, smell, and then of course savor. Uh, first off is sight. I'm gonna pour our wines. I like to stand up. Sight. Four S's. Keep it simple for stupid. <laughs> oh. When the uh, server does come to your table and opens the bottle of wine, the first thing you want to look at, of course, is the label to make sure you brought the right wine. Uh, next is when he pulls the cork. Now, the cork, you do not smell, for one. Uh, you want to look at the condition of the cork. Does it have a line? Does it have any kind of uh, a black blackness going from the top to the end? Um, usually that can show a, a wine has gone bad, or if the uh, wine does crumble on uh, pulling from the bottle. Now, this cork is in beautiful condition. Beautiful. Also part of the site is the wine itself. Once he pours, when you look at the wine, usually a white cloth of some sort works fantastic. You can look at the rim, the outer rim, and you can see a brown tint. Now that's a, uh, an indicator of the wine being bad. You don't uh, want brown tint. You don't want a brown tint around the edge of the wine. Okay, you don't want a brown tint and don't sniff the cork. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now this wine, of course, looks beautiful. Next, we swirl. Now you want to swirl with your base on the table. Some people, they get real fancy and they go up in the air, but it's very easy just to put the base down on the table and slowly move in a circular fashion. So I must have looked foolish all those times I was whirling it up in the air. Well, sometimes your uh, neighbor can actually catch a few drops on his shirt or his pants. So you got to be careful. Definitely. Next is smell. Okay, what am I smelling for? You're smelling for uh, a nice juiciness, uh, jamminess, uh, the grape itself. You'll smell bad. If, it, if the wine is bad, you'll smell it right off the bat. Okay. And this wine is, it smells wonderful. Okay. Next is sip. I'm down for the sip. Sip. And you just let it lay right on your tongue. And just get the uh, flavors all over your mouth. Usually the second sip is, is the best. And you take the first sip and get the real taste from the second. Okay, I'll have a second sip of wine. Delicious. It's delicious and I feel a little bit less stupid and I hope that I'm not the only one who's embarrassed by this and another of the 49 before 50 important things everybody should do.